On July 2nd, I had the remarkable opportunity to accompany representatives from the Lower Mississippi River Keepers and the Atchafalaya Basin Keepers on a South Wings aviation flight over Barataria Bay and the Lower Mississippi River Delta, looking at the effects of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. Yes, sir. Early on in the flight, evidence of the oil industry's presence in southern Louisiana was obvious. We had hoped to fly over Terrebonne Bay, but weather uh, was not cooperating, so we had to stick to Barataria Bay in the Mississippi River Delta. Just south of Port Fouchon, we could see oil sheen along the coastal marshes in Barataria Bay and along some of the boom that was placed to protect it. Next, we flew over Grand Isle, Louisiana, where along the front beach we had waves from Hurricane Alex and lots of subsurface oil and sheen along the break walls and front beach. Area Bay, we could see lots of skimmers working and other uh, supply boats. And then we hit Queen Bess Island one of the largest rookeries in Barataria Bay. You can see those white figures on the edge there, which are gulls and terns by the thousands. Here we can see this black line of oil on the edge of the colony, going right into their very nests. This wide swath of crude oil penetrates deep into some of these nesting colonies and uh, goes all along the edge of this uh, whole island. And on July 1st when I was there, um, I saw lots of these young royal terns that gather along the edge of uh, the shore before they fledge, um, just completely mired in oil. In a blanket decision by Unified Command and state and federal biologists, rescuers are not going into these colonies in fear that they would disrupt the colony as a whole and cause greater mortality than would be saved. But you can see, most of these oil birds are right on the edge of the colony. The cleanup crews are going in here anyway to remove this boom and uh, replace it. And so if they coordinated with these cleanup workers, there would be no further or greater disturbance done because that work is already being done. These people are already going in there and doing this stuff. So why not get a few of these birds out of there and into safety? Here we have East Grand Terre Island. You can see that interior bay, and uh, there's a lot of uh, restoration work going on there. Has been going on for a long time, trying to stabilize the banks. And behind East Grand Terre is Cat Island, one of the other main rookeries of Barataria Bay. And uh, you can actually see that boat approaching the island. Uh, it's a Vessels of Opportunity boat actually making a rescue. You can see uh, all sorts of oil sheen around the island and uh, in places uh, lots of oil into the mangroves and up against the island. Like on this small nearby island. Here there's a big blob of oil uh, next to another um, uh, rookery island. This green island uh, has mainly tricolored herons and some gulls, and you can see um, how the oil has gotten right into the marsh in there and into the inside, um, despite all the booming efforts here. And there's oil sheen all around. And here's another barrier island here. Um, we've got lots of uh, dead mangroves uh, along the edge of that lagoon. I surveyed uh, this island um, on June 23rd with some other ornithologists and uh, right here on the tip of this west end of the island there were lots of Wilson's plovers uh, nesting and it looks like the storm has gone right over that uh, leaving lots of oil up on the beach. Um, and here there's an interior bay of that island um, and here we had uh, thousands of birds including black skimmers, terns, gulls pelicans, um, and there's oil sheen all through here now. Um, there's not a bird in this bay now. Here's another uh, sand spit island out near Bastion Bay. 
And uh, on our initial flight, I thought these were all dead black mangroves. We were so far away. That leading edge of the island uh, is dark with oil, and it looks to me like those uh, front birds are much darker than the birds in the rear, although it's uh, a little far away to draw any real conclusions. Here we have all sorts of uh, very large sandbags that were placed by the National Guard uh, to block off a lot of these passes. Uh, but you see a lot of adjacent passes here uh, that haven't been blocked uh, or the methods have failed. You have to wonder about uh, the effectiveness of all of this. Of course, we have to uh, do something to try and combat this oil, but in many cases it just seems uh, too little, too late, and uh, just uh, inevitability that this oil is going to get into the bay. Um, and here, further east towards the delta, we have lots of uh, sorbent boom um, that is usually uh, bright white, and you can tell here it's dark brown and black from all of the oil it's absorbed. One of our biggest problems is that cleanup crews have not been able to attend to this boom, and so it just remains out there oiled and saturated, unable to uh, uh, absorb any further oil. Now looking out at the Gulf, we can see uh, lines of oil sheen, and then uh, eventually that goes into a huge, vast oil sheen that looks like it uh, continues for miles. Um, it uh, was pretty crazy, and, and I wish we had gotten a chance to fly over that, but we had limited time. Um, but uh, just devastating. Um, how much oil there is out there. Um, as we move east you can actually see uh, a line of uh, the fresh water coming out of the Mississippi River. And here on this bar barrier island you can see uh, all sorts of uh, black oil and dark sand um, all along the shores and, and deep up there. And then we see uh, these ribbon amoeba-like uh, subsurface oil blobs uh, just off the beach. And uh, here's a larger uh, blob of uh, dispersed oil, orange in color on the surface. And uh, now we're uh, returning home after uh, turning west at the top of the Mississippi River Delta. We can see the city of New Orleans. and. Uh, the banks of the Mississippi River in the background, and the Superdome. I'd like to uh, thank South Wings Aviation for this amazing opportunity. They really perform an invaluable service to uh, conservationists uh, throughout the, the country. And without them, a lot of us would not have this view of this uh, incredible disaster.